Psalm 89. Masculine of Ethan the Ezraite. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Your faithfulness shall you establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant, Your seed will I establish forever and build up your throne to all generations. Selah. And the heavens shall praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. O Lord God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto you? Or to your faithfulness round about you? You rule the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, you still them. You have broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. You have scattered your enemies with your strong arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. As for the world and the fullness thereof, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand, and high is your right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of your throne. Mercy and truth shall go before your face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they shall rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness shall they be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Then you spoke in vision to your Holy One and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty, I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy I will keep for him forever, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips, once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure for ever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established for ever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. Selah. But you have cast off and abhorred, you have been angry with your anointed. You have made void the covenant of your servant. You have profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. You have broken down all his hedges. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. You have set up the right hand of his adversaries. You have made all his enemies to rejoice. You have also turned the edge of his sword and have not made him to stand in the battle. You have made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth have you shortened. You have covered him with shame. Selah. How long, Lord? Will you hide yourself forever? Shall your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Why have you made all men in vain? 
What man is he that lives and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. Lord, where are your former loving kindnesses which you swore unto David in your truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of your servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people with which your enemies have reproached, O Lord, with which they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord for ever. Amen and Amen.